France started preparing for deployment of troops to Ukraine. Kyiv takes appropriate steps for this. Oleksandr Sirsky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, has signed documents allowing the first French instructors to visit Ukrainian training centers and get acquainted with their infrastructure and personnel. I welcome France's initiative to send instructors to Ukraine to train Ukrainian servicemen. I have already signed the documents that will allow the first French instructors to visit our training centers and get acquainted with their infrastructure and staff, he added. Sirsky also expressed hope that soon other partners will also join this project. He thanked the French Minister of the Armed Forces, Sébastien Lecornu, for the support of the French people and the state's military and economic assistance to Ukraine. The French Ministry of the Armed Forces has stated that the deployment of French military instructors to Ukraine to train soldiers is still under consideration. The French Defense Ministry commented that military training in Ukraine was one of the topics discussed after a conference in support of Ukraine convened by French President Emmanuel Macron in late February. As with all other matters discussed on this occasion, we continue to work on this issue with Ukrainians, in particular to understand their exact needs, the French Armed Forces Ministry added. In mid-May, the New York Times reported that some North Atlantic Alliance members were privately discussing the prospect of deploying military instructors or contractors to Ukraine to train Ukrainian soldiers and assist with equipment repairs. At the same time, the practical side of the issue of deploying French instructors remains important, writes defense media outlet of Ukraine. Experts noted that restrictions on the number of instructors from France are currently being lifted and areas of training can be expanded. Other countries that are NATO members may follow the example of France, but of course such an initiative is the will of each individual country and not a collective decision of the alliance, experts noted. Analysts also noted that the issue of stationing French armed forces instructors in Ukraine could become a catalyst for some other positive changes. For example, the French armed forces may strengthen the air defense of the training grounds where French units will be located. Around 2,000 people are feared to have been buried alive following a deadly landslide in a village in Papua New Guinea. The landslide hit the remote village of Kaakalam in mountainous Anga region in northern Papua New Guinea in the early hours of Friday. The exact number of casualties has not been established yet, while five bodies were retrieved from the rubble by Monday. The UN agency estimates 670 villagers died, while Papua New Guinea's government has told the United Nations it thinks over 2,000 people were buried. More than 150 houses in Yambali village were buried in debris, officials said. Some 1,600 displaced people are being sheltered in Enga region following the disaster. Sirhan Akhtaprak from the UN agency, International Organization for Migration said that teams on the ground were trying to rescue whatever they can by using digging sticks, spades, agricultural forks and their hands. Actaprak also raised concerns over possibility of another landslide that could force evacuation of around 8,000 more people. This is a major concern. The movement of the land, the debris, is causing a serious risk, and overall the total number of people that may be affected might be 6,000 or more, he said.
Yeah, that's good. No, that's no, good. No, 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 no. Here you go,